So, it got me thinking actually that should you be financially stable before you have kids or when you have kids or should you be... or sh it's your boy Mr. CV, I'm back, I'm back with another very very special video. I'm very very excited actually um, because last week I did a video about uh, marriage and how difficult it can be and obviously I was able to look at both sides as well. Hopefully that video helps, also it helps me as well because like I said I am starting to get old, older so but I don't feel old, I feel very young and that's what's important to me. I still, I feel like I'm still very fresh and um, still very active so I think that's what's important to me but obviously I can start to feel it because of my of my hair my hair is gone but it's okay it's not bad but then after that video it actually got me thinking actually because obviously I, I go around I see a lot of kids or I see a lot of parents and I have so many kids and that's not a problem by the way people are free to have as many kids as they want that's absolutely that's absolutely up to them and but obviously it got me thinking actually because I do know some parents as well that have a lot that have kids or they have a lot of kids they complain and some of them complain like oh damn like <laughs> they have so many kids and they sometimes they're struggling to look after the kids and it, and it got me thinking actually that should you have kids when you're financially stable or be financially stable and then you have kids now the reason why I was thinking this is because obviously I do know obviously kids According to most people, especially if you're a religious person, kids are a blessing. And obviously, yes, is a, is a something that is um, wonderful, is uh, happy, and obviously is a, is, a, is a thing where a lot of people, some women, obviously some of their desires is to have kids, and obviously some parents as well, obviously they're looking forward to grandkids and stuff. But sometimes, obviously that can place a lot of pressure on people, because talking from my experience, working with kids, kids are hard as much as they are blessing they can be a burden as well especially if you're not financially able because paying for a lot of things paying for um, just basic things food all these things they cost a lot of money and obviously as well if you live in countries where obviously education is not for free like countries like my country where in nigeria where education is not for free where parents have to pay for children education that's quite a lot, that's quite tricky. So obviously got me thinking like, should we financially stay when I know a lot of parents as well constantly complaining, oh, kids are too much, they're not listening. Also maybe the question also should be, should we be mentally ready before you have kids as well? Because some people, I don't think they, 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 they're mentally ready as well to have kids. Obviously, like I said, I can't decide for who whether you should have kids or not that's obviously that's your decision and things happen that's fine but in terms of mental wise as well some people are just not not um not ready like some people are just to just have kids and i don't think they understand the energy and the effort that it takes to look after kids to be honest with you i think once they have the kids they start realizing that wow oh this might not be for me and it's it's fine and well and good but maybe sometimes people need to have that mental readiness as well and just and even before you have kids as well i will even suggest that people learn parenting skills to be honest with you because obviously a lot of people are just recycling how they were parented by their parents whilst instead of obviously now people live in new generations now and it's just important that you just obviously learn some parenting schools as well some guidance but let me not deviate from the from the main thing that i wanted to talk about in terms of being financially ready because like i said a lot of people are not they, i think some of them are not sure they're not ready they're not they're not prepared that wow kids actually cost a lot of money kids are kids i don't have any kids myself but i'm just i'm just thinking about it like wow like <laughs> If you're gonna have kids, yes, I know they are blessings, but if you are not financially ready as well and you're not financially capable as well, they can easily become a burden because now there's a lot of pressure on you to obviously provide and and feed and do other things as well. With a lot of these questions that I do come up with, they're just out of curiosity to be honest with you. They're just things I'm like, oh, 
I just I don't know what, where the inspiration comes from, but it just comes in my mind. And I thought, ah, let me do videos on it and share it and see how it is. Because like I said, obviously I am moving to that stage where I'm gonna have to start thinking about these things and taking it quite serious. So I might have to think like, yo, like, yo, is this really like you have to be sure like this is this is really what you want, you know what I mean? Because I do know some people fall under peer pressure like oh my, my parents want grandkids oh let me quickly nah don't don't a lot of these things if you go and do that based on that pressure you're gonna suffer it you're gonna you're the one that's gonna feel it you're gonna really feel it so for me personally there is no right or wrong answer to these things obviously it's just how you feel about it how what you feel about it to be honest with you so for me it's just I'm just curious about it. and I'm like oh, wow because like I said, I do see a lot of parents. And apart from just financial stability as well, mental stability as well, because kids, they demand a lot of energy, attention. And some parents sometimes, they just don't like, it's like, they just, it's, it's like a case where they're just not, you're not mentally ready, like, you know what I mean? Because it's like, you're always like, this is becoming too much for me. So, but for me, like I said, there is no right or wrong answer to these things and it's similar to the video I made about should you work on your goals when you're single or in a relationship. So if you haven't seen those videos, please go and check out that video because it's quite similar to this. There isn't right or wrong answer. Some people will just say, look, just have kids and that's fine. And other people say, no, you should be financially stable. To be honest with you, the answers only you know the answer. Nobody knows the answers, to be honest. It's just how, how you feel, whether you meet the right person at the time or whatever. There's a lot of things that are not clear. They're not very clear, trust me. They are not very clear. And for me, it's just it was a case where, yes, like I said, obviously, if I do get married or when I do get married, I'm going to have to think about kids at some point as well. You cannot 100% know what you're getting yourself into, but at least you can do a bit of preparation as well, beforehand as well, to make sure. And this got me thinking actually, because I was watching something recently, and uh, this was a Muslim scholar, and he was basically saying something like saying, uh, basically, if you're going on a journey, all you need is to pack what you need uh, at that time, or enough for the journey. And basically his point was, when you're in this life, some things you don't really need because at the end of the day everyone's gonna leave the world and we're gonna leave with nothing but got me thinking a bit because personally as well obviously yes i understand that obviously everybody is gonna leave the world and everyone is gonna it's gonna go to be honest with you if you can do more you know what i mean like i'm not saying you have to like obviously i'm very grateful for everything i have but I feel like I can also do more. So even though I get his point, that kind of mentality can also make people feel like, become lazy and feel like as if, oh yeah, as long as I've got enough that I need, that's okay. No, sometimes you strive to get better as well. And linking back to obviously the main thing that I was saying as well, obviously when it comes to financial stability or things like that, yes, obviously you can just do the bare minimum and just obviously pay your rent, eat food and that's it. But sometimes it's all you can do you can do more and and obviously if you do have kids or other things like that, sometimes you want the best for them as well and you need to make sure that mentally, physically, financially you're able to provide as well for them because I see some some people they just have kids like just like as if they're some poultry farm like just give birth to so many kids and they can't cater for them and it's just it's a it's a shame. It's a shame because it's not just a shame on the parents, but it also is a shame on the kids as well because obviously they're not in a position where they have to slowly rely on the parents and obviously if the parents are not capable already, it can be very tough and like I keep saying, I know you know a lot of people that's going to watch this video and say, yeah, kids are a blessing or oh, God will look after the kids. Yes, of course, yeah, if you believe in God, yeah, God will hopefully help you to look after the kids. But you as well, you have to use your, you have to use your upper, you have to use your sense, and make sure that you as well, you at least, you know that at least you can, you 
can hold your own as well so anyways it's just one of those videos that i just think you know after i did a marriage video i thought okay maybe i should do this video as well as a sense of curiosity for me i don't really know the answer to be honest with you some of them the answers is quite tricky to know so people are just figuring it out as it goes along but for me i think maybe there are some preparations you could do beforehand maybe before obviously that stage happens so that obviously when it does happen at least you you are at least you have some ground as well so i don't know anyways if you feel like you've got the answer or you know the answer or you feel like you can answer the question please drop the answer or put a comment in the comment section and let's let's discuss the answer let's let's see let's let's have a look let's look at from both sides another thing as well is um a lot of these videos that I do, I've spent literally my my holiday, I've literally spent converting into um, sound only, into audio only. So if you're interested, if you're not interested in watching these videos, but you're interested in sounds and you listen to things such as Spotify or wherever you listen to podcasts, you can also check Diary of Mr. CV on there as well. And uh, definitely you can you don't have to watch a video of it you can just put that and play it and hear my voice if you enjoy hearing my voice or enjoy hearing my content uh like i said it's a big big year and definitely keep supporting your boy mr cv and uh take care